Hi everyone, this is Knowledge Topper and in this video we are discussing about panel data or you can say longitudinal data. I will explain you with the help of an example so you could understand this quite easily. I already made videos related to cross-sectional data as well as time series data. So do watch those videos because those are also very important. So let's get into this video. The question is what is panel or you can say longitudinal data. Looking at this definition here. A panel data set or longitudinal data set contains observations on multiple entities, countries, cities, companies, individuals, etc. And, etc. and so on, where each entity is observed at two or more points in time. It is a combination of cross-sectional and time series data. So what's important from the perspective of this definition is multiple entities and two or more points in time. So means in this type of data, we consider researchers observation of numerous phenomena that were collected over several time periods for each group of units or entities. Like um, entities could be countries, cities, companies, individuals, etc. and etc. Um, let's understand further this with the help of an example. Like for instance, uh, say you are studying the GDP of three countries over a period of time. Over a period of time means two or more points in time. Say three years from 2019 to 2017 in our scenario, in our example. So you have data like this. There are three countries like India, China and Brazil. And these are sets of observation for calculating the GDP of these three countries which is observed for several years like two or more points in time which in our example is from 2019 to 2017. So this is called panel or longitudinal data. Hope you understand this uh, about uh, longitudinal or panel data. If you like this video, do subscribe our channel Knowledge Topper as well as like our Facebook page and do join our group uh, Knowledge Topper on Facebook. Thank you so much everyone. It's time to say bye-bye.